as Nigerians continue to grapple with excruciating pains due to the removal of fuel subsidy, the Director General of Michael Imodu National Institute for Labor Studies, Isa Aramu, says citizens are in dire need of palliatives, not just a conditional cash transfer, but others like functional transportation. Aramu gave his opinion at an event to mark the 2023 World Youth Skills Day in Ilari, the Kwara State capital, where he urges the youths to embrace digital technology innovation and creating wealth and job opportunities. While given reasons for palliatives in all sectors, Director General Isa Aremo also said organized labor must engage the government to ensure that palliatives get to the right hands and public transportation must be functional to cushion the hardship. My suggestion is that it's not one or the other, whether conditional cash transfer or buying on buses or you know, crashing the price of food stuff, I think we need everything together. Uh, we need that conditional transfer. Maybe if 8,000 is not enough, we can ask for more. But So I think if the government is willing to give this transfer, I have no doubt that organized labor will be able to engage government very well in a creative way to make sure that it goes to the right hand and that it's sustainable for that period, we need to guarantee that. But after giving that conditional transfer, that doesn't mean we should go and raise the issue of transportation. In fact, that is the one that is very, very critical. I think we have to bring back public transport, you know, uh, buses at affordable prices. Aremo also challenged the Nigerian youths to embrace skills in the digital education sector to boost their capacity for self-reliance. The United Nations in 2014 declared 15 July as World Youth Skills Day, where stakeholders gathered to examine the strategic importance of equipping youths with required skills for employment. The young people need the right skills. Parents, the teachers and trainers stand at the forefront of this great global effort and they needed to be well equipped to be able to deliver government can engage every youth in this country because we have enough problem around us to engage every youth if we have a way of targeting and ensuring that the the, the skill of youth are targeted toward the the projects you engage your youth hello Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.